Hey friends, it's Miss Emily out here in Zilker Nature Preserve for another tiny tour. So when you think about insects, do you think bugs, yeah, or bugs, bleh. I know not everybody is a huge fan of creepy crawlies, but without insects, we probably wouldn't be alive. So let's go find out what the big deal about bugs really is. There are over 33,000 different species of insects just in Texas that we know of. So out here in the preserve, you can find those bugs literally everywhere. A lot of insects rely on this layer of dead leaves to provide them shelter during the cold winter months. So this fall, when you're raking leaves and tidying up your garden bed, do yourself a favor, leave some of this for the insects in your yard. You can also leave some clumps of native grasses since the hollow stems make great winter shelter as well. It's usually pretty easy to find leaves that have been nibbled on or tunneled into by a variety of different insects. Sometimes this harms the leaf and sometimes it doesn't. You may also have seen these small growths on oak trees. This is actually called an oak gall. It forms when a tiny parasitic wasp lays its egg on the twig of the tree. This is the tree's response to protecting itself, and the larva of the wasp develops inside this gall. A few weeks ago, we talked about the layers of the forest. The forest floor is a great place to look for insects, especially decomposers like termites and ants. Carefully flip over any rock and you're bound to find insects. The holes that turn these prickly pear pads into Swiss cheese come from a type of moth that lay their eggs inside the pads of the cactus. Those caterpillars then tunnel in and take nutrients from the plant, usually killing the leaves as it does. It's not uncommon to find this fluffy white growth on the pads of prickly pear cactus. What you might not know is that those are actually a type of scale insect called cochineal, a parasitic insect that lives on these pads. What you might also be surprised to learn is that if you squeeze these insects, their exoskeleton contains a bright red dye called cochineal. For thousands of years, humans have used this to make dye for textiles, including the British redcoats during the Revolutionary War. Even here at the tail end of fall, you can still see hundreds of insects that call the tiny pools of Mirror Pond their home. Some skim on top of the water, and others will spend up to two years under the water, developing from larvae into adults. Of course, we can't talk about insects without talking about the importance of native wildflowers. Whether they bloom early in the spring, throughout the summer, or late into the fall, they all provide an important source of nectar for pollinating insects. Some of them smell sweet and floral, others smell pretty disgusting, like rotting meat or even scat. Turns out there's an insect for everything. What you see here is a swarm of dragonflies. If tiny prey insects like mosquitoes and gnats are present, the larger predatory dragonflies will congregate in those areas where their food is plentiful. So it's pretty obvious that insects are everywhere. If you want to find them, the best way is to just slow down, look carefully, explore what's around you. And really, that's the best way to enjoy all of Zilker Nature Preserve. I'll see you next time for a tiny tour.